Cortex is probably one of the more ambitious open source AI projects we've seen land on Android recently. It doesn't just deliver a basic chatbot or pre-built model, it builds an entire platform around giving users more control, more customization, and more transparency in how they use AI day to day. At the core of Cortex is a smart dual mode setup. You can run models completely offline for maximum privacy or go online to access more powerful cloud-based options. And that flexibility means whether you are into lightweight, local use or heavy lifting conversations with smarter AI, the app has a path for you. But it's the personal AI lab that really makes the app special. You can create your own assistants, tweak their personalities, upload knowledge and more, all without needing to code. Add in automated moderation and the app works the fine line between freedom and safety pretty well. The app also introduces themed UI customization and built-in AI characters that go beyond the usual chatbots. From tutors to fictional personas, it's a more engaging experience all around. And because it is open source, your data is handled pretty well, plus you can check out the application on GitHub. There is a free tier that gets you started, plus optional paid plans if you want more modules, more themes or advanced functionality. Keep in mind the app is still a work in progress and some features can be buggy, but even now it works pretty well. If you're looking for a single application that blends music streaming with video content, Simp Music might be the sleeper hit worth checking out. It offers a surprisingly wide media experience that goes beyond just playing tracks. Think curated playlists, global genres, music videos, and even lifestyle content, all in one clean, lightweight interface. You get access to over 40 genre categories, from mainstream picks like pop, hip-hop, and R&B to niche collections like Disney, K-pop, and Afrobeat. Also, themed playlists for moods like chill, workout, and sleep. And when you are in the mood for visuals, the app opens up a whole video section with news, beauty, gaming, and trending music clips. Background playback works seamlessly for both music and video, which puts Simp Music a step ahead of a lot of video-centric applications. The recommendation engine is also personalized, playlist creation is smooth, and there is even a universal search that ties it all together. All video streams are handled through a third-party Tube API, fully compliant, so you're not stepping outside the bounds of fair use. Not to be a Spotify killer or a YouTube clone, but what it does do is combine the best of both into a single space that is surprisingly effective for daily use. And so if you want music and video without switching applications, this one is worth a download. Still on music, if you are still playing your local music files and want something that actually feels modern, Rhythm is one of the best open source music player applications you can get right now on Android. It is built entirely using Jetpack, Compose, and Material 3, which means everything from UI animations to color theming feels smooth, fresh, and native. On Android 12 and above, it even matches your wallpaper for the extra visual polish. But Rhythm's strength isn't just skin deep. Under the hood, it is packing serious audio features, gapless playback, support for looseless formats like FLAC and ALAC, and clean background playback using Android's native audio tools. There's even support for synchronized lyrics, detailed metadata, and smart audio focus handling when calls and notifications come in. The library management is also rock solid. Rhythm scans your files, reads tags for accurate sorting, and gives you flexible layouts. Search is quick and forgiving, playlists are fully editable with drag and drop, and shuffle controls are some of the best around, with options for random, album shuffle, and artist-based playback. It also fetches high-quality album art from services like Spotify, Last.fm, and YouTube Music, and gives you deep information on every track, bitrate, format, file size, and works. And because it is open source, you can get updates through GitHub or joint beta releases, and even submit feature requests directly to the developers. And so if you want to manage your own music library and want an application that is clean, powerful, and privacy respecting, Rhythm absolutely delivers. Not every task happens daily or even weekly, and that is exactly where Calendar Log fits in. This lightweight Android application is built for tracking the occasional staff, things like dentist visits, car maintenance, pet vaccines, or when last you change your water filter. You know, those little but important things. It is not a to-do list application or a habit tracker. Instead, it is your when did I last do this log. Clean, visual, and refreshingly offline. The main screen is a simple calendar where you can tap or long press any date to log an event, add custom notes for context, 
and just like that, you've created a visual history. No need to scroll through lists or rely on memory, just look at the gaps between the entries to see exactly how long it's been. There are no reminders, no cloud syncing, and no ins. Everything stays local. If you've been looking for a distraction-free habit tracker application that actually respects your privacy, Hubstack is a new app as at the time of this video and gets a lot of things right. It is lightweight, works entirely offline and never asks for an account, permissions or personal data. That alone puts it in a rare territory among Android habit tracking applications. The UI is intentionally minimal, no ads, no onboarding flow, no clutter. You just open the application, add your habits and track them with a single tap. It's built with Flutter, so performance is smooth and consistent across devices. Everything runs locally on the Drift database. And so if you need to move your data, there is an export option. No cloud syncing. You can customize schedules to fit your routine, not just daily, but specific days of the week. Plus, the app gives you visual heat maps, streak counters, and some light analytics like completion rates and trends. It is useful without being noisy. There are no reminders or push notifications, so it's best suited for users who want to check in on your own terms. It's a privacy-first design through and through, and so if you want something clean, private, and fully in your control, this is a new, clean and easy-to-use application. If you are into space, rockets, or astronomy in general, Quasa is the kind of application that feels like it was built just for you. It's a clean, focused platform that pulls in everything from space news to real-time rocket launches without all the fluff or ads that usually clutter these kind of applications. Right off the gate, you are met with a live feed of space and astronomy updates pulled from multiple reliable sources. But it doesn't just aggregate headlines, the app presents everything in a minimal layout that is easy to scan and actually enjoyable to browse. The live long tracker is a standout here. You are not only getting a list of upcoming missions, but real-time countdowns, rocket information and mission goals, all clearly organized and updated. Quasar also doubles as a media hub. You've got high-res space wallpapers, NASA's astronomy picture of the day, and even a dedicated AI assistant trained on astronomy and rocketry topics. Ask it about star systems, launch vehicles or satellites, and it delivers concise, topic-specific answers. There is even an exoplanet database, which is a nice touch for science fans who want to go a little deeper. The app is ad-free, thoughtfully designed and packed with geniusly useful features. Next, Awake is a well-designed alarm application built with Flutter and it's one of those tools that gives you a lot of control without overwhelming you. It starts with basics like theme switching, you can go light or dark, or just follow your system settings, and supports for both 12-hour and 24-hour formats. The interface is clean and focused, and the settings are actually practical. It's an offline alarm application that keeps things clean, customizable and practical, whether you are a light sleeper or someone who needs a more aggressive push out of bed. Awake delivers the tools without the bloats. You get full control over your alarms, titles, repeat days, vibration, custom audio, and even fade-in volume options for gentler wake-ups. But what really sets it apart is the dismiss options, from the basic tap or shake to stop, to math problems and even QR code scans. Awake introduces math friction to make sure you are really awake. Pair that with customizable snooze intervals and zero ads or login requirements, and you've got one of the most straightforward, no-nonsense alarm applications on Android. Privacyium is a small but thoughtful application designed around one goal, helping you find privacy-respecting software and services. It is completely open source, and it brings a modern Android experience to something that is often overlooked, digital privacy education. It is basically a curated directory it lets you browse through a list of applications and services like browsers, email providers, cloud tools and more that have been vetted by a privacy guides team, one of the most trusted sources in this space. Each recommendation includes a short description, why it's privacy respecting and often a direct link to explore it further. So if you are looking to replace your current tools with safer, more private alternatives, this application gives you a great starting point. It doesn't collect any data, no ads, no tracking, it even doesn't ask for permissions. If you are someone who pays attention to home screen aesthetics just like me, Home-KWGT is a widget pack that is worth a look. This widget pack brings a polished, minimal and iOS-inspired design language that instantly refines your setup. And these aren't color tweaks on the same base, they are visually distinct, optimized to blend with a wide range of wallpapers. Speaking of which, you get 20 HD wallpapers included right out of the box, 
helping you build a full theme without hunting around. However, if you like the current wallpaper on my home screen, it is from Lumina Walls, link in the video description. And just a heads up, this isn't a standalone application. You will need KWGT Pro and ideally a custom launcher like Nova Launcher for full control over placement and spacing. But once it is set up, the results are clean, modern and visually satisfying. And then we have a game application. Now if you think the endless runner genre has gotten stale, Graffiti Flipper is here to shake things up, literally. Instead of controlling a character across a scrolling map, this game centers on a neon circle as the world rushes past you and your only job tap to flip gravity and survive. It sounds simple but it gets intense fast, spikes, laces and walls come at you from both directions and just when you think you've got the timing down, gravity zones show up and disables your flipping ability. It's a high speed reflex game at heart and it plays like one. Collecting coins unlocks power ups like shields, magnets, slow motion and even a mid-air double flip, each of which adds a layer of strategy to your runs. The clean neon visuals gives us that classic arcade vibe and everything works offline so no ads or connection headaches. Some Android tools go beyond being just another application. They are built to do one job really well while respecting your privacy and keeping things lightweight. This lineup is full of exactly that, starting with Permission Summary, a small but super practical open source application that gives you quick, clear view of which applications have access to sensitive permissions on your device. Not the harmless stuff like internet access or notifications, but the important ones, your camera, microphone, fine and course location storage, contacts, calendar, phone state, SMS, and even body sensor data. It groups everything by permission type so you can instantly see which applications are using what, filters out system applications so there is no clutter, and runs fully offline with no trackers. The UI is clean, built with Jetpack Compose and Material 3, and it's fast enough to check everything in seconds. Now, once you know which applications have access to sensitive features, the next step is being able to control who can open them. That is where Lock Lock comes in. It's a free, open-source app locker powered by Material 3 that gives you advanced locking tools like anti-uninstall protection, brute force protection, and even a password recovery option so you're never locked out by yourself. It doesn't need internet, it works entirely offline, and keeps everything lightweight while still offering strict privacy by design and anti-tampering measures. And for those who want something equally modern but with a slightly different set of features, AppLock is another solid privacy tool. It is open source, follows material use so it adapts to your theme, and supports biometric and pin authentication, including fingerprint and face unlock. You can lock any application, set an unlock timeout so you are not re-entering passwords every few seconds, and keep all your data stored locally. It also runs real-time background protection so locked applications stay locked, whether you are using it for shared devices, parental controls, work applications, or just general privacy. And not every useful tool is about privacy though, sometimes it's about fixing small annoyances. Orientation Lock is a perfect example. It's a super minimalist open source application that locks your screen orientation on Android 5 and above. It's less than 100 kilobytes and has no ads, no trackers, and no unnecessary features. Just a clean interface that lets you force your screen into the orientation you want. It was built because some applications, especially on tablets, refuse to support certain orientations like landscape. So instead of adding dozens of settings, the app keeps it simple by using a floating window to set the orientation and nothing more. If your focus is on building good habits, well, yet another habit tracker keeps it modern and straightforward. It is lightweight and also open source and includes light and dark mode with an AMOLED option for true blacks. There is a heat map to visualize your streaks, the ability to assign different colors to habits, and the app itself is small in size so it won't take up much space. It is uncluttered but still gives you the essentials for tracking progress without getting lost in the settings. For music lovers, check out Create. It supports a long list of languages from English to Italian to Czech, Turkish and Romanian and lets you switch between Remusic and Vmusic UI style. Songs can be automatically cached for offline playback with a custom cache size or downloaded permanently, including entire playlists. You get background playback, listening stats, a player audio visualizer with different effects, class news, moods, genres, and new album updates from your favorite artists. Playlists can be imported, exported, and shared, and lyrics can be fetched, edited, translated, and displayed, whether synced or not. It has customizable themes, a sleep timer, and once your music is cached or downloaded, it works offline with a built-in auto-update checker. 
And finally, for anyone working with sound directly, Record Equalizer brings real-time audio processing to Android. You can record audio with this application and it runs your audio through a chain of channel control, gain adjustments, dynamic compression, and equalizer filters all built on Google's Obo High Performance Audio Library for low latency sound handling. That means it is responsive, efficient, and able to process audio on the fly without slowing you down. Each of these applications focuses on doing its job well from managing permissions, locking applications, controlling orientation, tracking habits to enhancing music playback or shaping live audio. They are lightweight, open source, and built on the kind of attention to detail that makes them stand out in the sea of overload, ad-heavy alternatives. Comment below your favorite simple open source tools, I'll be glad to check them out. Also leave a like on the video, consider subscribing to the channel, and as always, thank you for watching.